Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League predictions. Yet again, a previous weekend just gone, VAR was in news. I'll talk about them situations as I'll get down to the fixtures. But I did do a video up yesterday that I do talk about VAR, I do talk about the Premier League using it. What's wrong about how the Premier League are using it? That video will be popped up at the end of the, this video, so do feel free to go check that out after watching this. Um, but anyway guys, you know what I'm trying to do, try to get to a thousand subs come the end of the season. The best way you can help me do that is by sharing my videos, letting people know about this channel. And, uh, you know, it'll be a special video once that goal is reached. Um, but anyway guys, you know what I do, so guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game I'm going to talk about is Norwich City versus Watford. Norwich losing 2-0 away to Brighton. Watford losing 2-1 at home to Chelsea. I think Watford were very unlucky not to get a point in that game. Um, I know that you know it was closer than what a lot of people might think it was going to be. Watford are still searching for their first win in this Premier League season. Um, Norwich were very unlucky not to go 1-0 up in that game against Brighton and hit the crossbar. Um, but, you know, I'm concerned about Watford this season. Um, however, my dark horses from last season to now and, you know, basically struggling to get first win together and um, it's going to be very interesting to see where Watford finish this season and um, you know if you're a Watford fan please feel free to put your comments uh, down below and um, is relegation ringing in your ears yet or I know there's still a long way to go I know we've got a busy Christmas period coming up as well but tell me how you're feeling at this present time um, but as far as this result goes, I'm going to go for a very boring score, a very boring game, and I'll go for a nil-nil scoreline for that one. But a final three points for both teams, if any team can pick them up. My next one is Chelsea versus Crystal Palace. Just as you mentioned, Chelsea beating Watford 2-1 away from home. Um, Crystal Palace... Losing 2 0 at home to Leicester City. Leicester not being able to do uh, the job over like they did against Southampton. Chelsea, I think, were very lucky to keep the three points, but they did so. Um, but you. I think this is the first ever season where any team's beatable, except for maybe Man City, Liverpool. I'll look at any Premier League team and go, they're beatable. Um, which it makes it very interesting for me to predict and for me to talk about, but then it also makes it hard to predict as well. Um, but as far as this one goes, I'll go for a 1 0 Chelsea win. My next one is Burnley versus West Ham. Um, Burnley losing 3 0 away from home against uh, Sheffield United. West Ham losing 3 2 at home against Newcastle. Very disappointing day for West Ham. Very disappointing day for Burnley. Um, if I was going to speak the most shocking result, it'd probably be that West Ham result. Only because on the front of. You know, West Ham are at home. Um, they haven't been doing too badly with season, but they're down in a dip at the minute. Um, but, you know, great three points to you, Carlos. I'll speak more about that in just a second. Um, but, you know, disappointing day for Burnley, great day for Sheffield United. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 1 West Ham win. My next one is Newcastle versus Bournemouth. Bournemouth beating Man United 1 0 at home. Newcastle beating West Ham 3 2 away from home. Great three points for West Ham. Um, thoroughly deserved, I think. Um, 
you know, how Steve Bruce come under pressure since minute one. I think he's started to answer some critics as well now, um, you know, ever so slowly. Obviously, there's still a long way to go, um, but at the minute, I can see Newcastle, you know, stand in the Premier League for another season. Um, Bournemouth, great three points for them. Um, you know, playing May United at home. May United did have three away games, wins on the bounce. For Bournemouth to end that, that's a big statement from Bournemouth. A big statement. Um, from a ground, a ground that only holds recently around about 12,000. Um, you know, that's a big statement for Bournemouth um, going forward. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Bournemouth win. My next one is Southampton versus Everton. Southampton losing 2-1 away to Manchester City. Everton drawing 1-1 at home to Tottenham. Um, just when I'm going to talk about this Everton game, I want to say get well soon, Gomez. He picked up a nasty injury um, in that Tottenham game. Um, he has been discharged from hospital. The rest of the worst is going to go to the Everton physio team. But I'd just like to send my wishes out there to Gomez and get well soon. Uh, I did watch the game. It was horrible what uh, I saw. Um, you know, it weren't very nice. But it's football at the end of the day. Um, while I'm on the verge of that red card uh, on the Everton game again, um, Son, Son's red card has been overturned. I don't think it was a red card. I think there's a mistaken identity. Um, I didn't realise it till later on, on the Saturday evening, that, um, you know, a Tottenham player, I can't remember what Tottenham player it was, um, touched uh, Gomez after song. Is that where the injury happened? Possibly. Um, but yet again, to really understand where I'm coming for, go check out my VAR video. Um, Southampton, another disappointing day, but not a 9-0. Um, you know, again, so positive from Southampton. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 1-0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Tottenham versus Sheffield United. Tottenham 1-1 one, one against Everton away from home. Sheffield United beating Burnley 3-0 at home. Great three points for Sheffield United. Big statement from Sheffield United. Uh, you know, where they came from to, you know, basically take the Premier League by storm. Um, I think Sheffield United have actually approached this season correctly. I don't believe that teams should come up from the Championship into the Premier League, spend millions of pounds and expect it to work. It never, it never or it really doesn't work. It might work on the odd team, but every year I'm seeing it, it's not working. Play your Championship players and bring the teams in, uh, bring your new players in slowly to adapt to your game. Um, but yeah, great three points for Sheffield United. Disappointed day for Tottenham, they were at 1-0 up in that game. Um, as I said, uh, Sun's red cards got overturned, so he's available for this game. Um, but, you know, it, it's still a disappointing day for Tottenham, only coming away with a point at Everton. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Sheffield United win. My next one is Leicester versus Arsenal. Arsenal 1-1 one, one at home against Wolverhampton. Leicester beating Palace 2-0 away from home. Um, great three points for Leicester. Uh, could have possibly had more. But on the other hand, Palace could have had one or two as well. Um, Arsenal still a disappointing day going 1-0 up. And 10 men Wolverhampton coming back get the equaliser. Um, Jacker 
has been stripped of his captaincy from Arsenal. Um, you know, who's going to be captain next? A lot of Arsenal fans say they want to bum Um But what he done, I can understand his frustrations, but what he done you cannot do in the world of football. Um, but yeah, no captaincy on the horizon for Arsenal. Um, who's it going to be? Please feel free to put your comments down below who you would like to see it be. Um, you know, but yet again, the same problem still with I for Arsenal. Leicester are going to go into this game with confidence. And, um, you know, so far as this result goes, I'll go for a 3-0 Leicester City win. My next one is Manchester United versus Brighton and Albion. Brighton and Albion beat Norwich City 2-0 at home. Um, Man United losing 1-0 away from home to Bournemouth. Um, disappointing day for United. Um, I can't see where their problems are going to actually start settling down. Um, great three points for Brighton, three home games on the bounce, uh, wins for Brighton, going to Old Trafford and yet again Man United is a team that anyone's looking at and saying they're beatable, um, but how, you know, where does United problems lie, I've got a rough idea, um, but, you know, just from a where did it all go wrong when Sir Alex Ferguson retired? Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 1 0 Brighton win. My next one is Wolverhampton versus Aston, Aston Villa beating Liverpool 2 1, uh, losing 2 1 at home. Um, You know, disappointing day for Villa. They were 1-0 up in that game and nearly held it. Um, Wolverhampton, 1-1 away to Arsenal. Player suspended um, for Wolves. This game is going to be an interesting game, I think. Um, as long, you know, as long as both teams stand up. Um... But you, you know, you've got a fair idea, um, you know who the players are. Um, but you know, great derby. Um, but as far as this one goes, I go for a one-all scoreline for that one. My last one for this weekend is Liverpool versus Manchester City. Game I'm very much looking forward to. Liverpool beating Villa 2-1 at home. Manchester City beating... Sorry, Liverpool winning 2-1 away from home. Um, Manchester City beating uh, Southampton 2-1 at home. You know, great three points for um, both clubs. Top of the table clash. Liverpool have got a busy schedule coming up. Um, I think it's like... 11 games in like 31 days, something like that. Um, I know Liverpool got two games, um, one in Birmingham and one in Qatar, um, you know, in the space of 24 hours. That's going to be an interesting period for Liverpool. Um, but, you know, as far as this one goes, I'll go for another draw and I'll go for a 2-2 two -two scoreline for that one. But anyway, guys, you know what to give us today. Be careful, I'm going to enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.